Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here, and this video is going to concentrate on how you can buy uh, altcoins, buy and sell altcoins on Bittrex, which is a cryptocurrency exchange. As well as that, if this is my first video that you have uh, found, then make sure you subscribe. There'll be links probably above and below this video to join or just to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos like this. As well as that, I will have a blog post which will be linked down below that will step through this in, I will type it all out, I'll have a few screenshots on this and other cryptocurrency exchanges as well. So make sure you check out that as well. So Bitrix, what you do is when you come to the main page, we'll just log in up here. The first screen then that we should be showing when we log in, you can see here are the markets. So these are the latest prices for all the coins. You can see there's a Bitcoin market, which is the altcoin against the Bitcoin price. So you can see here for Antshares, which is a very popular one at the minute, uh, you can see the volume, the change in the last 24 hours, the last price, the 24 hour high, the low for the 24 hours, the spread, and then when it was added to the exchange. So that's Bitcoin. Then you have all the different coins that are available with on Bittrex. Some coins are only available on certain exchanges some coins are available on multiple exchanges it just depends on the coin you then have the ethereum markets so this is some of the coins against ethereum so these are the value of this coin will be reflected against ethereum rather than bitcoin up above and then you have your usd t markets which is you have a bitcoin and an ethereum value in us dollar so if you want to sell your uh, so if you thought the market the bitcoin market was going to plummet you can sell all your bitcoin into a usdt value when the market drops then you can go back in and buy your bitcoin again at the lower value so we'd say for if you want to go into well the first thing you're going to have to do if you're new is you're going to have to put bitcoin into Bitrix. So you're going to have to have something in the account. You can see this is an extremely small account that I have here just for showing you this video. Uh, the only real uh, coins that I have in here are ant shares. So what you do is if you want to deposit anything else, you can see there there's only 72.5 uh, ant shares in that account and the Bitcoin is minimal, probably less than a dollar or two dollars in there. So what you do when you want to put in more is you would come in here and you would click on the plus button. So then you just send your Bitcoin to this address. This address is specific to you. So make sure you use whatever one comes up in your account. Send in your Bitcoin. Once it hits the exchange, then it will be credited to your account and you can go off and you can buy um, any of the altcoins that you want then. So the same way and shares, you can add them in or I could take them out. I will be taking these out soon. I'll take them out and store them in a different wallet rather than the on the exchange. But uh, that's really it there. So that's just your deposit withdrawal, fairly simple. So for ants, we we'll use this as the example of how you buy and sell on the exchange. So you can see here, when you go into the coin, you have your chart here. You can change what time frame you look at the chart we go one hour here you can look at it there you have your tools which are your you can draw some lines on your chart uh, you can draw trend lines or support and resistance or whatever you want to do there as well as that you can change your candle to uh, bars you can change it to a line graph for most people the um, candles will be the best your studies then is stuff like Bollinger Bands or any indicators that you want to add onto your chart, if I put Bollinger Bands on, we leave all these as standard, and then you can see there are my Bollinger Bands, so you can see that Antares is currently, it was peeking out over the Bollinger Band, and we got a little bit of a pullback here. So just to keep going, as this isn't a trading video, this is just to show you how to use the Bittrex platform. Over on the right, you have the same information as the previous screen, you have your latest price, the volume, the bid, and the ask price, the difference between them is your, um, oh, forgot the word, doesn't matter, spread, there you go. 
And then you have the 24 hour high and the 24 hour low. So you have your Bitcoin price and then you have this price here, which is the rough equivalent in US dollars. Down below then is where you actually execute your trades. So the unit is how many ant shares you want to buy. So say you wanted 10 ant shares. Then the BTC price, this is the price per ant share that you're willing to spend. So you can put in any price here that you want. You could put in a price that is greater than the current market price. And what would happen is your trade would be executed straight away at the current market price. That's if you just want to buy the coins right now, you can do that. You can use the drop down, you can say bid, which is the current bid price. So if I executed that right now, that would probably go and buy the 10 ant shares at that price, unless there was a spike just before I got my order in. Now, as well as that, you will see my BTC available here is pretty much nothing. So at the minute, I need to get more Bitcoin into the exchange later on because I put it all into ant shares this morning. Uh, well, over yesterday and today. And um, so I need to put in more Bitcoin to be able to buy more. And when you have more Bitcoin in, it will appear here. So what you can do is if I set that at the bid price, you can click on max. If you want to use all of the Bitcoin you have available, then this will calculate how many ant shares you can get for your current value. So then you could just come down here and click buy. It wouldn't even let me buy because that is below the minimum requirement. As well as that, the time to enforce, you can put them as immediate or you can put as good till cancelled. I usually leave it at good till cancelled because that means that the order will sit there open until I actually go in and cancel it. So it either gets executed when the market hits your price or you go in and cancel it. That's the only way that it disappears. So that's really it on buying. So just on this, I could set a price here of uh, one price that stands out to me there. So there we go, 0 0.00275. So that is right down here, somewhere around there. So what would happen if I set that there? You can see if I change that, I can get slightly more and shares because this is the price that I will be buying at. What would happen is my order, my buy order would be set up on the platform. And when the market drops to this value down here, which is my price that I'm willing to pay, then this order would be executed. The system would automatically buy however many ad shares I have told it to buy. So the sell then, it works the exact same way. You can see here, you can set your price. You can set whatever price you want to sell your ad shares for. So you put that in here. So let's say if I wanted the bid price, and the max I can sell is the amount that I have in this platform, which is 72.5. So what I could do is I don't want to sell it because I'm accumulating these for the long term. You then come in and you just say sell your ant shares. So what happens then is the system would automatically sell your ant shares when it gets to this price. And then this is the Bitcoin that I would have back if I executed that order. The other bits on the screen then you have your order book so you can see what bids are currently in. So these are people that are looking to buy ant shares. You can see the size, how much they want to buy, and you can see the price that they're willing to pay for these. As well as that, on the other side you have your sells, which is your asks. So these are people that want to sell ant shares. So you can see this is the price they're willing to accept. This is how much they want to sell. And then you have your totals. So that's really it. You have uh, your open orders then, so if you had any orders set that were um, buy orders or sell orders that weren't on the market price, so they were either below or above, then you would see them here because they haven't been executed yet. And then you can just see there's the actual market history, so you can see every trade that is happening on this exchange on Ant shares at the minute. So that's really it. Hopefully this video has helped you a bit. Um, if you want to get back to any of your markets, you can just come up here, you can search for them, back to your wallet, whatever way you want to do it, okay? And if you want to go back to your main markets, just click on the logo here. It brings you back here to your main screen where you can see a bigger overview of the current markets. Hopefully this has been a help for you. Make sure you subscribe to my video or to my channel. Give it a like and a share if you think it'll help other people. 
and also check out my blog post down below which will have more info on this market and also on other cryptocurrency exchanges so i'll talk to you guys soon thanks for watching and i will see you soon on the next video